Building Explainable Neurofusi Systems for Cancer Diagnosis by Sergio Fernando Lima Reina, PhD Research 2021, University of Fribourg, Switzerland. We have identified several problems. Problem one. In health, the more knowledge one has of the patient, the more accurate the prognosis. A system is needed that consider a holistic understanding of the patient, their genetics, epigenetics, omics, laboratory results, demographics, environment, and habits. Problem number two is that we need to understand the phenotype of the different societies in the world, i.e. Latinos, Europeans, Americans, Asians, etc. In regard to the most important causes of cancer for these societies. Problem number three is that we need to implement intelligent systems that automate the diagnosis of a cancer patient and that enjoy the trust of the medical community. In this way, a larger population mass can be diagnosed at a lower cost. So for these three problems, we propose three solutions. Solution one, unify all possible sources of information on a patient through an artificial intelligence system based on deep learning and fuzzy logic, which allows handling large volumes of data. Solution number two is the need to implement a neurofusi system that takes a country of the Latino community as a use case and finds which are the factors that most influence the prediction of a person having cancer or not. And solution number three is the need to implement a neurofusi system capable of explaining in natural language the results of its predictions and solving all the doubts that a doctor may have. Also, measure the quality of the explanation in such a way as to gain the trust of the medical community. So we want to implement a neurofusi system that will take data from cancer patients in the Ecuadorian society and will explain the results in natural language and additionally, the quality of the explanation will be measured from the point of view of the medical community. The participating institutions will be Solca Ecuador and the National Registry of Tumors. Thank you very much.